All right, guys. So today we're going to be testing out different kinds of light bulbs from across the years. So I'm all over the, from over time, actually. These are just light bulbs that I have, actually. So keep in mind, most of them are like LED. So, so right here, first of all, we got a Phil Philips one. This is the candle light bulb. This is from 2017. You can tell because of all the fucking grease that it has on it. Ew. And this is the Philips. And this right here is a EcoSmart white light LED bulb. This is a 2024 version. This is a newer bulb. So it's just, it's really, really bad. It's a bad, it's a very, very terrible LED bulb. And here, this light bulb came from my catalyst, right? My ceiling fan catalyst. And this is a Canarma, you know, LED bulb. And it's actually a bit better than the 2024 one. This came from the same year, but... It does it came from the same right from 2023 or 2024 i don't know but yeah and here is a very old incandescent bulb i guess this one's from like 2015 i guess and this is a very old incandescent appliance bulb so yeah and here is a 2023 this is a 2023 um you know flood light bulb this is a pretty bright bulb actually and i do like this bulb by the way so and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And then here is the Hampton Bay Glendale ceiling fan. They're gonna be putting the bulbs in to test them out. See if they're flick. It's to see uh, to see if they flicker. So, yeah. First of all, we're starting off with this, you know, generic incandescent bulb. So, forty watts, by the way. So this is basically less efficient. So, so here it is, guys. And, yeah, this is actually not a bad bulb at all. I've been using it in my Glendo a couple of months ago. Does it flicker? Uh, no, actually. It, does, it flickers a little bit, but, like, you know, that's expected because it's, a, it has, like, 60 hertz, right? So, yeah, it's expected to flicker like that. So, it's, it's basically an incandescent bulb. So, yeah, and that's my favorite bulb, too. Here is this 2017, right? The 2017 candle, you know, bulb. So this is from Philips. And this should has this should have like the same light output as the um incandescent bulb, so just probably a little bit brighter, I guess. All right. So, yeah, this one's also pretty good as well. But does it flicker? Actually, that's a bit better than the incandescent bulb. This one does not flicker at all. So, yeah. All right, so that's a, that's also a good bulb. I like this LED one. All right, how about this 2024 LED bulb right here? This is the white light, by the way, daylight. This, ow, yeah, it actually hurts to look at, fuck. Yeah, this this is a daylight LED bulb, and this one, oh yeah, that one flickers. That one flickers badly. Like, yeah, that one flickers badly. Like, yeah, that, that's a piece of shit right there. Yeah. this These these bulbs gave me so much problems, I don't know fucking why. And here are, here is the standard bulb right here. This is the standard bulb for the, um, you know, the, um, Glendale. These are actually pretty heavy weighted. These are from 2019. Yeah, they're heavy weighted, as you can tell. So, this has better quality. Here goes the 2019 LED bulb. And hold on, what's the brand name? It's an EcoSmart. So, yeah, just letting you guys know. Pretty, it's a, it's a pretty weighted bulb. It's probably weighs about, like... I don't know, a couple of pounds, a couple of like, you know, I don't know, but yeah, this one's, this one's standard and it's a bit brighter than the other ones. So, and this one, this one does not flicker at all. So this one is also a pretty good, um, LED light. I do recommend getting these ones. So yeah, these are like the 2019 ones and they are actually pretty good. So it's pretty weighted too. So, you know, it's quality. So here is the, uh, you know, the 2023 floodlight bulb. So, and 
I'm I'm forgetting about the fucking brain. Oh yeah, this one's lumens. This one's lumens, guys. This one's the lumens um floodlight bulb. Oh yeah, that's bright. That's probably the brightest of the of the entire bulb collection, I guess. So does it flicker? This one does not. Well, there's a little bit of flicker, but this one doesn't really flicker at all. So that's also a pretty good LED bulb for being a newer one. So yeah, that's a pretty good floodlight bulb. I do recommend that one too. I don't know where I got it from, but this is just, you know, one of those bulbs. And here is my cat. It's playing with the bulbs. <laughs> and the last finale is the can arm, you know, the can arm bulb. So this came from a catalyst. So let's see this one. This one's a bit more wider, so it, it it does hurt a little bit more than the um warmer ones, but this one's a bit more like bright. It's a bit more brighter actually than the standard ones. So does it flicker though? Yes, it does. It does flicker. It is a piece of shit. So that's why I kind of got rid of them actually and just got the um you know the Mateo um LED bulbs. So I just put it in my catalyst. So yeah. This one flickers a lot, so that's why I got them, got rid of them. So, yeah. This one sucks, as well as the 2024 one. So, 2024 white light bulb. So, these ones, these are the light ones. They're lightweight, right? They don't weigh, a f they don't weigh anything, right? So, those ones, those ones suck. And these ones right here, these bulbs, these are old bulbs. These are all, you know, older bulbs, right? And these are actually the best bulbs, actually, that, you can pro that I can probably ever find. So, this one doesn't flicker. This one doesn't flicker. This one's standard. This one doesn't flicker that much. And this one, for being old, actually, this one doesn't flicker either. So, yeah. These two are the worst. So, my favorite of the entire um, section is this older LED right here. This floodlight. And this old incandescent. I like this one too, actually, as well. So that's why I use it in my Glendale. And it fits per perfectly fine. So, yeah, but the favorites are these these guys right here. So, yeah. I like these ones. These ones are good. And not all LEDs are bad, guys. But just stay away from the cheap LEDs. If you know they're, like, if you know they're bad, just don't get them. Like, hold on. Let me give you, like, an example. There's a fucking piece of shit there. So, um, yeah, here's, here's an example. If I drop them and if they bounce like that, that means they're cheap and they are lightweighted. So, yeah, they bounce up. Similar with this, um, can arm thing, right? They bounce up. So, you know, they're lightweight and cheap. So, yeah, they're not really durable either. So, keep that in mind. Hi, right, guys. I'm probably going to be putting this candle bulb in this um ceiling fan right here it's a very nice bulb just pass it on with the older led bulbs right here these are the same ones that i showed these are i have two of these so yeah so yeah i guess that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching and don't worry i'm gonna put this back up too Yep. By the way, that's the catalyst one. So, because they they match the same color rendering, actually, it's fine. Ah, fuck. Terrible. By the way, these are the Mateo bulbs, right? From the uh, Home Decorators Mateo ceiling fan. And they don't flicker either. So, these are also pretty good. So, yeah, that's why they're in the catalyst. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.